2012. Number five is on the way. What's up? He should be a Leo. Slightly jealous. Number five, Leo Lion. Lead the pack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, part is, yeah, we, you know, I get diminished. I'm the king, you know. My son's the bull, you know. He's going to be the Leo, you know, which is cool because it's, you know, it's, we are the ingredients of that Leo. You feel me, you know. I don't have Gable around, shit. The Libra. Boy. That's going to be interesting, man, because, you know, he got them Libra scales weighing everything and that air floating him everywhere. Next. <laughs> he needs the wisdom of Solomon to be a good, great Libra. Air, brilliant decisions in and out, balancing the two with wisdom. So for her. Gabriel, for you, for your skills, you need to put knowledge on one side of the motherfuckers. Uh, probably understanding on the other one. And then I think in the middle, your base should be wisdom. You feel me? How you find wisdom is literally being honest with all of your shortcomings towards our Father. And then understanding that everybody else has those shortcomings plus more. So every time you want God to forgive you, you have to understand that everybody else needs more forgiveness than what you're asking for. That, you know, forgiveness is just not a right that comes to you, but to everybody. And that God don't forgive you more because you're greater. Or you can do this or people like you or you look like Nah, don't, none of that matters. He forgives us equally. And in return, if that is your father, then we got to do it more abundantly, over obsessive. Because it's really not in our nature. It's a part of it, but not like the way he is. So, anyway, that's for you, Gabriel. From a Leo, number five. What I'm going to tell you is, you are a natural born leader with lazy tendencies and the ability to lack the right amount of empathy because of your own self-indulgent arrogance. Now these things may sound like a minus, but they're actually a plus because you need them to rule and make hard decisions. Your laziness will come from your self-worth and the things that are put in, for, put in front of you to be beneath you. And they are. But that doesn't make you great. That just means that you're not equipped for those jobs. You need to find those jobs. People, put people in a position to do the jobs that you feel are beneath you. But you're going to need them to be great. Those things beneath you is the difference between you being great and ordinary. Those things have to be taken care of. Even if it's something simple as you need coffee five times a day. The most important person is the person who's willing to bring that to you to help greatness succeed. A flower in the dirt. A tree in the dirt. Food in the dirt. Worms, insects, the dirt gives life abundantly across the board and only is considered something you walk, step on, throw away, never consider, never care about. But yet it produces abundancy of light. Now everybody wants to be the tree or the product that gets the glory. It's a special person who wants to be the soil. A Leo is not that person. You weren't built to be that person. However, you can add to yourself 
the ability to appreciate what gives you light, grandeur, honor, all of these things. You are only going to be as strong as the people you put around you. And they're only going to be as good to you as you are to them. And you can only be good to them when you believe that everyone around you deserves the same type of respect, loyalty, and fairness that you want for yourself. If you can get that, it's going to take a long time, don't get me wrong. You can take you a long walk with God, a long conversation. You're going to have to pay a lot of dues, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain to get to that point. But building something, making something, shaping something has never been easy. The bigger the prize, the bigger the cost. You got to be willing to pay the cost to get the prize. It's a long, hard road. But the man that you will become from that is worth every piece of pain that you won't believe is worth when you're really going through it. Trust me, talking a talk and walking a walk. Is like. The earth. And an ocean. Talking to talk and walking the walk is like. A shoe and a car. It's like a bike and a plane. And that's no justice, hell. It's like a fish and an alien. They're two totally different things. Alright. Good luck, y'all. <laughs> but just trust, you know, God got your way. Don't worry about it. He, he guides us. It's in our DNA. He guides us. Just listen. 